When I was in high school, I was invited to participate in a training program over the summer to become an athletic trainer. Now, I played sports when I was a freshman in high school, but I really didn't excel in sports. And there really wasn't something inside of me that said, yeah, you got to drive to do this. You got to really put in the effort and the time to become better at it. And my size didn't really, my size really hasn't changed much since then, but it really didn't lend itself to excel in any particular direction athletically. So I thought, why not? That would be a great thing to do. Besides, I was being recognized. I was being uh, invited to go do something that, that um, it sounded important, it sounded fun to do. So that's what I did. What I didn't realize is the path that it would take me down. Because as I became more proficient, as I became better and got more excited about this concept of athletic training, it's actually what opened up doors for me. When I was in high school, I didn't realize it at the time, but I was already beginning to develop into what would become my passion. I was already developing a sense of motivation, which is different from passion, and those two things had to work together as my life progressed. When I was in high school, I actually had the opportunity to sit down one-on-one, -on -one, went to breakfast with a very prominent business leader in Phoenix who had gone the route that I had gone. I had openly expressed the opportunity and need to want to run my own business. Now, I had already run a business at this point in my life. I had already been involved in things that were entrepreneurial. I was already doing the entrepreneurial thing. I just didn't know it. In the first five years of my professional life as an athletic trainer, I started five different athletic training programs. <laughs> I didn't realize what it was at the time. I can look back and see it clearly now. I just didn't get it then. So the passion was igniting. The passion was coming alive. The passion eventually won out. The motivation was in helping people achieve. When I was in high school, I got to watch athletes get better under the care that I provided. When I was in college, I got to watch college athletes get better. The, the part that ignited me the most was the part of watching someone improve over time. Rehabilitation was the thing that I gravitated toward. I gravitated toward it in college. I gravitated toward it in a professional setting. And the opportunities that I was given to ignite, to teach others, those things were all becoming part of who I was. I simply didn't know it at the time. My passion was growing. My motivation was in watching the result. And that's an interesting thing when you think about it. If you're a small business owner, if you're an entrepreneur, and you think about what it is that you really do, you start with what is it that brings me a sense of purpose. That's going to be passion. That's going to provide motivation. Motivation, however, is a concept that's internal. It's something that we can do. We can become motivated. We can find ways to motivate ourselves. We don't necessarily like having to do all the things that we do, but if we don't do all the things that we need to do, then we have to motivate ourselves to be able to do them because we know that that's what's going to ultimately lead to the, to the satisfaction that we want inside. So that ultimate sense of purpose, that ultimate sense of satisfaction comes from motivating ourselves sufficiently and finding or, or latching onto and igniting the passion that we have. That's not a simple process. That's been the wonderful thing of the last two decades of my life in helping bring that about with others. It's been so wonderful to see that happen. Now I realize that I had been trained in this from the time I was actually very young. I can look back and see instances in my life where I absolutely led things to happen. And I don't say that to, to bolster myself or to put myself in any way. I'm only say, suggesting that these were things that I was meant to do. I simply didn't recognize it. And hopefully if you can shortchange that, if you can find that even sooner, if you can have the opportunities, because sometimes passion requires multiple opportunities. Look, I didn't start doing this. I wasn't Tony Robbins. I didn't start doing this when I was 17 years old. I didn't come into this until much later. Why? Because I had opportunities. Once the opportunities were given to me, once I could see the possibility, then boom, it took off. I was able to ignite the passion and that provides now for me the motivation. It didn't start that way. 
So if you don't feel that spark inside, continue to motivate yourself until you do. Continue to, to allow that motivation to be extrinsic, allow that motivation to be intrinsic, whatever it needs to be, whatever it takes to motivate you to move to the next step, to move to the next level, do it. However difficult it is, do it. Eventually, the experiences will come so that that passion will ignite inside. And once that happens, then the motivation and the passion work together, moves you forward, and everything's good. That's when life gets into flow. That's when you actually get there. When you consider your professional experience, if your professional experience isn't all there for you yet, keep exploring. It will come. It may come in the field that you're actually in. It may come in a vastly different way, but it will come. Just keep exploring and keep motivating yourself knowing that there's something more, there's something greater, there's something out there. As you do that, now remember, I, I've talked about this in the past, we have to have belief, we have to have faith. As we have belief, as we have faith, we know that there's something great, there's something more, there's something more out there for us than what we currently experience today. We have to continue in the motivation to achieve or to get where that passion lies. It will come and it will come for you. Thank you so much for being with me on the Primacy Podcast. I do appreciate it. I hope you're finding value in this information. And I hope that as you do find value, you'll share it with someone else who you know needs it. There are all kinds of people in your social experience that need this information. And I hope that you would, would take the time to share it with them, either in sharing the podcast or sharing it in principle so that they get the message, get the understanding. Sometimes you can be a better a better carrier of that message because you know the individual that needs it. You can be a better carrier of the message than I can. So I'm just here to share the message. I want you to, to expand that by sharing it with people that you know will benefit from it. I do appreciate you being along on this experiential journey with me as we, as we learn together how to have and create exceptional experiences. Take care.